So joining us now for the review of today's newspaper from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Malabite Efeni. The Malabite is an action. action. Good, good morning, Rufa. Good, good morning, Ayo. Good morning. Good morning, morning, morning Kayo. Yeah. Good morning. Yes, we'll start the review with this day in Nigeria's newspaper of record. We start from the window story above the masthead. With end of subsidy, NMPC raises petrol prices to between 488 Naira and 557 Naira per liter. If you're asking of a band, I think that is the template, the band. <laughs> but they four... said no band. I thought well, they said no band. No, we didn't want to bore our viewers with the details on how they arrived at that template. But I'm sure in the days ahead, um, you, a journalist like you and I will get the details behind the figures. Now, workers insist on status quo as federal government Nigerian Labour Congress meeting is deadlocked. You can ask, you can't ask partner to negotiate at gunpoint, says Ajero, the NLC president. And of course, Uriwa condemns upward review of pump prices. NECA, the National Nigerian Employers Consultative Association, cautions against escalation of inflation. Yes. Of course, subsidy gone, and today is a reality. Yes, some said the date was June, and many expected there would be subsidy up to June ending. But I think NMPC and the government of the day, they have interpreted that June to mean by the first day of June, you will not see subsidy. And that is what has played out yesterday after the hide and seek, of course, the reality is that we have a deregulated market, a deregulated market where there is a band, there is a template between 488 Naira and 557 Naira, how they arrived at that calculation. Of course, a lot of factors taken into consideration, including exchange rates, with which that uh, the poor was imported, cost of transportation, freight cost to bring it into the country, and of course, transportation to location. Now, if we look at the lead story of this day, Tinimbu, we are ready for business. Partnership with willing nations. Yes, the president, Bola Ahmed Tinimbu says Nigeria will remain Non-align, China pledges increased economic cooperation with Nigeria. EFCC chair meets President briefs him on state of anti-graft war. Yes, the Chinese president sent a special delegation yesterday. Uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a high-power delegation to meet with the president, of course, pledging cooperation between China and Nigeria. Of course, the relationship between Nigeria and China has been very robust and it's just about to get better, I want to believe, under the presidency of Bola Ahmed Tinimbu. And we we'll move over to other newspapers, the Daily Sun newspaper, NMPCL unveil new fuel price regime. That's the lead story. Now, the story beside the masthead of Daily Sun, PDP has rights to suspend, expel you, court tells Winke, yes, the immediate past governor of River State. Ian, Ian Som is the one Winke, yes, he's now, um, yes, in his homestead in Obiakpo. Yes, the court yesterday ruled because he had approached the court to get an expertise motion that it cannot be suspended. And that was the situation until yesterday when the court looked at the substance of his case. And the conclusion was that PDP can expel or suspend Nguyen Wiki, but the court said it has to follow due process as stated in the party's own constitution. Now, below the 
below the uh, yes the, the photograph there in the daily sun, daily sun newspaper presidential poll INEC rejects own documents in article pdp petition against tinubu obi labor party postponed post, obi labor party postponed to continue presentation today over ill health of two key staff yes the state of the presidential election petition tribunal is ongoing and the parties are making their submission now the guardian newspaper poses us about 800 million dollar palliative labor's next move as nigerians brace up for higher inflation yes it's a season of belt tightening families individuals will have to readjust to the new realities because the impact of the deregulation of the fuel uh, of PMS in Nigeria is that it will impact on other items. Transport fares, uh, goods, and services will be impacted, and everybody perhaps will just have to make some adjustment. Well, our correspondent, Obadui, was talking about how somebody earning 30,000 naira a month will fill the car if you are earning 30,000 a month and you are driving a car to the office every day, then we'll have to check you. We'll be talking about the transport fare. Yes, if you receive 30,000 in a month and your transport fare is now 1,005 every day as opposed to 750 naira before this new reality. It means the entire salary will go into transport fare to and from work. Now, that is where the government has to come in to bring soccer to the average Nigerian, to the poor who commute every day, um, to their places of work, to their places of business. Now, the Vanguard newspaper also leading with the same story on petroleum, sub, petroleum above 500 naira per liter as subsidy removal takes effect. But the Business Day newspaper is raising another issue. As subsidy goes up, Nigerians demand cut in governance costs. Yes, Nigerians are expected to tighten their belt. But government cannot continue as usual. Uh, and the cost of governance has to be brought down. You know, and of course, lawmakers cannot continue to live large on outrageous allowances, wasteful government uh, expenditure, and bloated budgets. These are the things government must also check. On Rossari report, very familiar. It's been kicked down the road, nobody implementing. President Muhammad Buhari glossed over it now. Can somebody look at Oronsa, your report? All right, uh, um, Mr. Fene, I'd like to just interrupt you. Then yeah. we have a breaking news, and then we'll come back to the news. Breaking news. The attention of the Central Bank of Nigeria has been drawn to a news report by Daily Trust newspaper of June 1, 2023, titled, CBN devalues Naira to 632 a dollar. We wish to state categorically that this news report, which in the imagination of the newspaper is exclusive, is replete with outright falsehoods and destabilizing innuendos, reflecting potentially willful ignorance of the said medium as to the workings of the Nigerian foreign exchange market. For the avoidance of doubt, the exchange rates at the investors' and exporters' window traded this morning, June 1, 2023, at 465 naira to a dollar and has been stable around this rate for a while. The public is hereby advised to ignore the news report by Daily Trust in its entirety as it is speculative and calculated at causing panic in the market. Media practitioners are advised to verify their facts from the Central Bank of Nigeria before publishing in order not to misinform the public. This statement was signed by Issa Abdul Mumin, PhD, Acting Director, Corporate Communications, Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. End of uh, the news. Well, thank you very much um, for allowing me to interrupt you, Mr. Fain. I just had to bring that in very um, quickly. Rufai had actually touched on this, but this is an official statement from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Yeah, it was good CBN had clarified the true position before that uh, piece of news 
gain traction and cause a panic in the system. Yes, we're talking about looking at Business Day newspaper as subsidy goes, Nigerians demand cut in governance costs. Yes, belt tightening should also be seen among the leaders. What happened to our Sanye report? Will this government look at it? To shrink depart ministries, departments, and agencies of government because some are just duplicating efforts. And of course, um, the former president once talked about uh, reducing the presidential fleet, whether that will be done under this regime, this administration, of course, left to be seen. Just one foreign newspaper. Quickly, the Washington Post uh, reporting about, uh, yes, the Washington Post newspaper debts deal clears house. Rush to get bills through Senate. Of course, after all the back and forth between the Republicans and the Democrats, at last a deal has been reached. U.S. will not default in its payment because the implication of that in global economy is huge. So a deal passed through the House, uh, a bipartisan uh, um, vote there. And, of course, the Senate will uh, just concur with that. And... Business will go on as usual in the U.S. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Feni, for your in-depth analysis as regards our newspapers around the world. Thank you.